This is uh, you guys that send me your content and want help, like a boost, like a shout out, that sort of thing. If I don't do it or I kind of ignore it, I'm not being mean. What I'm usually looking for when people want help is I don't mind helping anyone. I would like, to, you know, I would love to just like say, hey, everyone go watch this. But here's the thing is I have to be very careful about that because if I tell people, hey, go watch this guy, I got to mean it. And it doesn't mean that your content's not good. I don't want to give a premature shout out and have a bunch of people go land on your channel and it's not ready. That's what I don't want because I can't do it again. Let me see if I can bring Glenn on the live call. Glenn is online. Glenn is a judo uh, instructor, a judoka, a judo. <laughs> ju help me, dude. I'm fucking floundering over here. Come so um, jujitsu, judo, and kickboxing. Yeah, I'm familiar with Glenn because Glenn sent me an instructional of uh, him teaching some judo stuff. And I, I told him, I said, dude, you are an amazing instructor, but absolutely shit at YouTube. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm calling, man. I want to get a little bit of advice on how to get, uh, you know, get started on grabbing like more more attention because I can get really long winded. So and, here, here's what you put out. He, you sent me what was a 12 minute video. Yeah. He sent me a 12 minute video. I was glued to it. I watched it. I, I watched, excuse you. I watched it cover to cover and loved it and learned shit from it. You're an excellent instructor. That, that video, that, you could charge for that. What he did is he put, he gave me a video that was an excellent like tutorial. Like it was an excellent instructional on judo and just covered so many concepts and they all tied together. And it was like, if, if, if you're in this position and this fails, then you could do this. The thing about YouTube is you have to realize who you're talking to and why you're talking to them. The key is in the first 30 seconds, you have to you have to hook them. It's called the hook for a reason. You hook them in the first 30 seconds. So, let Glenn, we got people asking, who is this guy? How do I find him and subscribe? Dirt Diver, what is this guy's name channel again? Uh, well, my uh, Longshot Martial Arts. If you type in Longshot MMA or Glenn Legu, which is L-E-G-O, it's spelled Lego. Um, so I'm, I've got a lot of content on there split out through a couple different channels, but it's just all stuff from like competition or just candid videos from, uh, practice that my, my students have caught. You, he put in there how you could throw somebody, how you could throw somebody that has your back. He put in there how to like, let somebody think they're taking your back so you could throw them that way. And that was like a, a portion of the video. I'm like, that's a whole video. The thing is you got to cover kind of one thing really good. You got to really like cover it real thoroughly one thing specifically you got to hook them you say hey do you want to know how to throw somebody even if they take your back how about letting them take your back so you can throw them in this video i'm going to explain how you can throw somebody even if you don't have an arm or even if you don't have a head or even if you, you know whatever you'd, you'd have to know the correct judo things to say but i'm going to show you how to do that you know in this video right here boom drop your intro you should be done by 30 seconds and then hop right into it you have okay. to earn. This is what's crazy. This is going to sound conceited. I'm I'm getting on my high horse and I'm flexing a little bit for you. Right? Let me have it. <laughs> All right, but it's the truth. It's just the truth. The best advice I ever got was from Sonny Leonard Doozy, who's a, a popular uh, guru in this stuff. She said, "Rule number one: nobody knows who you are. Rule number two: nobody cares." You know exactly. You yeah. have to earn. So I started out doing blogs and or vlogs rather and like showing clips with my kids in them and shit and, you know, little personal things. Nobody gave a shit. You've got to earn the right to ask for more of people's time, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, some people will say you should push the, push the videos past 10 minutes. There might be analytics to support that in the short term. Like maybe a 10 minute video makes you some more money or it does some you know, more stuff, uh, in your, in your analytics, but long-term you're trying to build an audience and you're trying to build, you're trying to gather that attention. You need to. Yeah. Earn. So my main question, my main question is what would I be able to put into a video in order to grab that person's attention and earn their, earn their, um, earn that attention for real without going too far, like, make the video over complicated right like or, not get too um, youtubery or too and like be yeah and be and be real because you're a real you're a serious martial artist you're not a fucking clown i know that you know i'm a clown so what i would do would be different than what you would do <laughs> um but just like i said hey 
in this video, uh, do you want to know how to throw somebody even if they have your back? Do you want to let somebody take your back so you could throw them? Because already a bunch of people will be down in the comments typing, first of all, you should never let somebody blah, 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 blah. While they're typing, <laughs> while they're typing, the video is playing, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. The video's playing while they're typing. That's all we give a fuck about in the first 20, 30 seconds, right? Then okay. you drop your intro. That needs to be, you know what my intro is? You know how long my intro screen, like my credit screen? It's 1.8 seconds long, exactly. Uh huh. Every time. You know, not a long sequence, not a 30 second, like, look, a fucking music video of you doing a bunch of judo throws. You say, yeah. long shot martial arts or Glenn Lego martial arts or whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then if, if and I told this to another judo guy because judo is so visually impressive. Um, mm -hmm. This was just a guess because I don't do judo. I would say I would do my hook 20, 30 seconds. I'm done. And then the first thing that I would show is the, the throw done mm -hmm. from like three or four different angles, just in rapid succession, you know, no setup. Okay, just when, when you referred me to Sensei Seth, I sent him the message after we were doing the, the live chat. And, uh, that's pretty much exactly what he told me. And, uh, I hadn't even considered that, you know, when I teach, well, I taught him, when I was I filming that video, about this stuff, so of course, <laughs> Yeah, when I was filming that video, I, it's really hard for me to try to just address the camera. I'm used to addressing a room full of people. So I, I really tried my hardest to just talk to the camera as if it was a day one student or, you know, somebody who had at least done a little bit of the basics where I can just overwhelm them real fast and then at least they'll have record of it, you know? Right. That video that you sent me was targeted towards a judoka, right? You know what I mean? I, that's It's really targeted through... Uh, to anybody who does MMA or even just combat or, or, in general, yeah, because those to, are all to, real to a martial positions. artist. But here's here's the thing: is you you're gonna learn, um, what percentage of your audience is actually training, and part of your mission oh. is to get them to train, right? So okay, so talking I hadn't to him, considered that talking to him like day one is really cool. I want I want to share with you super powerful move, and some people are uncomfortable doing this, and some people don't think it'll play well. So you're not used to teaching to a camera, you're used to teaching to a room full of students, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So teach it to your fucking room full of students and have someone film it. You know, you'll be in your element. You'll look super cool. You'll look like a rock star, especially if you got at least like eight people there learning from you. Right. Mm -hmm. And you'll be in, you'll be in natural. Don't even fucking look at the camera. Let the camera person stand where a student would, but maybe back a little bit so you can see some students, have them walk around and get a better, the same way I would walk around. Like if you turned around, instead of trying to, because you're not a videographer yet. You're not a, a, a filmmaker yet. You know what I mean? So you yeah. won't be able to do this perfect. Like I cut things together to make me look way more proficient at the stuff I'm doing than I am. You know what I mean? You don't have to mm -hmm. do that because you are already you are proficient in your martial art. You just have the student walk around with the camera like he would if he was trying to see what you were doing with your grips or whatever and make it like a documentary. Mm -hmm. I think that would look super cool. I have, I have yeah. a few videos like that that are posted on uh, – my students channels that they made just so they could post the channel for me or the post the video for me. Uh, and I feel like they look, they look all right and they catch me in my element. Um, but that, also all of them still have only like 50 views each. <laughs> well, dude, that doesn't even matter. Your first 50 videos are practice. Mm -hmm. It literally matters zero. How many people watch them? They're okay. just, they're just practice. And, and the thing is in a year or two years from now, you can, and you're better at all this, you can do all those videos again. You won't be like, oh, I already showed the throw from, from when they have your back. Well, you, that mm -hmm. video sucked. You made a shitty video about it. Now you make awesome videos and you're even better at the throw now. Now you can make an awesome wow. video about it. Make the other one private, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I really appreciate the, uh, the advice. White Belt Central says, watching the video muted. The first time the throw is demonstrated is 4.5 minutes into the video. And it's super slick yeah, and looks awesome. it took awesome. a little while to get to it. it. He says, and it's super slick and looks awesome. Maybe open with that. You know? <laughs> like you're open with it's your coolest <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Think about when you watch a movie and it, and, it's, and it comes in media res. Like it comes like, boom, Bond movie. Starts with him swinging off of skyscrapers and chasing motherfuckers and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Send them with a hook. Hey, this is how you do this. Blah, 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 blah. Show. I think you should show it like boom, boom, boom. Like show the throw highlight reel style three or four times, different angles. Uh huh. Then it's just class. The way we're going to set this up, we're going to make them think that they're going to take our back, you know, or we, we expect okay. that they will, or we know that we're not going to be able to stop it. 
and we're going to set this throw up by make sure we get our leg to the outside or you know whatever the thing is but you can slow mm-hmm. it down you need to get that first the first 30 seconds you need to convince me to watch the next 30 seconds and in that first minute you need to try to convince me to watch at least half the video Okay, and then using those guidelines, um, you do a little bit of everything on your channel. Did you always start doing just uh, kind of random videos as far as like, oh, bare knuckle boxing or elbows for a street fight or tactical whip, you know? So here's the – Because I do a little bit of everything. All right, so here's here's the thing. If you, if you just want to make videos that are valuable and that you enjoy making, just do make whatever the fuck you want. But if your question mm-hmm. is – like I want my channel to succeed, right? Right now you should go hyper focused on some shit that you're really good at. Like the shit that you're the best at. Like you're the best at throws from unconventional positions or whatever. You're the best at um, throws that put people on their head or throws that make you always land in good position. You know what I mean? Um, Mm -hmm. You should go super focused. And again, like going longer on your videos you sort of will eventually earn the right to keep people engaged for longer. You know what I mean? Okay. So just get in, say what you have to say, make sure it's you carve out a niche and uh, get out of their way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want the ch- – and and so that's super confusing because I also tell people, do what you want if it makes you happy. But yeah. you earn that right. You earn – like people mm-hmm. give it – like I can – I have a little bit more freedom now. I could make a video and people will give it – if the video sucks – I won't be able to do it a couple times in a row, but I can make yeah. it like the video that came out yesterday. I made a video on incline pushups. I knew full well, even though the, so I, I've been doing this long enough. I knew that this video would not perform well, even though mm-hmm. the exercise modifications that I've done have performed well. I knew that this one would not, I knew I dried that up and I knew it wouldn't work, but I was in a position mm-hmm. where I said, I know that there are people who need this video. So, and I want to make this video and it's going to be a good video. So I'll just make it, you know, and I can deal with it not being a mega hit. I can deal with it being ranked eight out of 10 of my last 10 videos. So I'm okay with that now. What right, you, you have a good should, frame of reference of how it's going to land. Yes, I, I, and I know. I know when I make a video, I, I don't get surprised really anymore, you know. But I um, think that you should go hyper-focused. And just okay. get the practice of making videos. Like under, uh, I, people say, how do I make it on YouTube? I say, well, you don't make it on YouTube for like a year and then one day you make it. Like if you can work for a year at it, you, you mm-hmm. Sensei Seth, he knows his shit. He just commented in the YouTube chat. Guys, go follow Longshot. His throws are dope. You, I mean, your content can be amazing. Oh, no way. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. every People are checking it out. Everyone, everyone we said it was good and everyone's going to um, – uh, All right, that means a lot. I appreciate yeah. that. All right, so that's what I think you need. To, I think you need to work on that hook. You don't have to be something you're not. I'm not just package it in a way that I want to fucking watch. If I'm not a super serious martial artist that really wants to do this throw. Hmm. Okay. Well, I appreciate well, you. Man. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go check out Long Shot MMA. Um, and and predict that if you if if you even kind of like what you see right now that you're going to see like way better shit. Cause like now he's got me. <laughs>